Want to know how to make your house completely indestructible? Or how to create a base so hidden even the best players wouldn't be able to raid it? Here are 96 of the most illegal houses in Minecraft. You can use pistons at the world border to stack different types of slabs on top of each other, which already looks super cursed. But if you're really dedicated, you can use this to create an entire house out of these crazy double textured blocks. If you're looking for a super inconspicuous way to hide your base, try placing a few item frames around your base and hooking them up to a code lock mechanism like this. The secret door will only open when all of the item frames are set to the right rotation. Using maps and item frames, you can build huge 2D replicas of fake blocks and create super detailed hidden entrances you can use to hide almost anything. Check out this desert. See anything wrong? There's actually two hidden bases here. One inside this cactus and one behind this sand block. All you need to do is place the maps inside an item frame placed on a sign and your base is suddenly invisible. You can actually make a base in the void. Sure, you can't place blocks down here, even in creative mode, but there's an illegal workaround. Using a chicken, leads, and boats. You can spawn shulkers down here and walk on them as if they're normal blocks. They'll even use levitation to send you back up. Look, all of us have wanted to live inside a video game at one point, and with some glass, terracotta, and buttons, you can. Imagine seeing this while playing on your Nintendo Switch. Hang on. I think I'm trapped. Let me out! Let me out! Huh? Oh god, that's even worse! This base can't be blown up, even with 1000 TNT. Surrounding your base with waterlogged stairs makes it completely protected from all explosions, including creepers, completely going against what Notch intended. Sorry, bro. This illegal machine lets you open a door simply by taking off a piece of armor. If you set it up exactly like I did here and turn this lectern to page 8, you'll create an undetectable, illegal entrance that you shouldn't be able to build. Oh, it also activates when a ravager roars, but I think you've got bigger problems if that happens. If you're ever stranded at night surrounded by mobs, you can use a... Uh, composter? But that's right, jumping inside a composter with a trapdoor on top protects you from skeletons, creepers, and all other mobs in a pinch, making this an illegal, completely portable base. But if you want a more permanent house that's just as quick to build, try bone mealing a red mushroom, chucking a floor in, adding some decorations, and you've got a perfect little fairy tale house that definitely wasn't meant to be a base. If you hide a leashed chicken underground, you can attach the lead to a fence and make what kind of looks like a floor floating balloon house. You can add some actual balloons up top, and you've basically got the house from up. You know those little waterfalls that come out of mountains? They're perfect for secret entrances. Just break one block behind the source and dig down a little, and then you're free to build anything you want down there. Just be careful not to place any lights too close to the entrance, because that looks sus. If you use invisible item frames with the fake block trick from before, you can create one-way glass that you can use to secretly spy on all of your friends. This one definitely feels illegal. Uh-oh. It was a creeper! I'm always finding myself running out of room for storage, but who said we're not allowed to just build our house out of barrels or chests? Problem solved. Now I can get all of my items when I Hey! Give that back! Okay, okay, everybody knows about the painting entrance by now, but what if we use that to our advantage? All people do is walk into the painting to see if there's anything hidden, but this painting has a pressure plate behind it you can activate with an item. I guarantee you, nobody will find this one. Let's face it, everybody's realized that Amethyst is pretty useless, so I don't think any anyone would mind you setting up camp inside one. They're the perfect size to fit all your decorations in, and crimson wood goes perfectly with the amethyst color. That's just cherry wood if you're living in the future. Gathering materials for a base can take forever. Why not just cut that part out entirely? Leaves are the fastest block to collect in the game, so just shear a bunch of them and build your house out of those. I'd make sure to set up a few uh, lightning rods though, because that could go very wrong. But if you want to take it even further, try building this thing instead. It's got all of the blocks you need for a home, including a brewing stand and an anvil. And you're even safe from mobs in the bed too. I don't know if I'd call it a base though. It's more like being homeless. You can make a perfect little cage for parrots by pushing a piece of stained glass on top of them. For dogs, try a solid block instead. Sometimes the hardest part of building a hidden base is actually finding a location first. So try this sneaky idea out. Nobody ever goes into these scary water-filled lush caves, so try and take a swim down there yourself. Place a door and get to work. But come on, a regular door just isn't gonna cut it. So instead, try placing a press a plate on the other side of a corner like this, connecting it to a piston and using an arrow to activate it. It works underwater too. Most people think underwater bases have to be super complicated and hard to build, but you can actually just chuck a bed and some chest down and it works fine, if you can hold your breath. Honey blocks are actually just a tiny bit smaller than a regular block, which means you shoot directly through them. It means you can also use them to create secret perilous pathways to your hidden base. Bonus points if you chuck some dripstone at the bottom to really make it dangerous. For some weird reasons, you can phase straight through shulker boxes if 
you open them in a certain way. All you have to do is stand on top of one with a roof above your head, and it'll push you down and through to whatever you've built below. Speaking of shulker boxes, they're actually invisible when you get far away enough, just the same as beds and chests. So to create your very own totally invisible base, just head up a couple hundred blocks, build a shulker box platform, place a bed, and you're golden. Nobody will ever find this. But sky bases can sometimes be a little annoying to reach, so for a super accessible and equally hidden base, try this. Head to any snowy biome and stick some scaffolding underneath a random block. Put the snow back and you've made a completely undetectable underground base, and one that looks really funny to enter too. Natural structures are basically just pre-built houses for you to use. Shipwrecks and jungle temples work great, but my favorite is the desert temple. Not only does it come with multiple rooms and doorways, it even has a section up top that perfectly fits a fully built beacon. What a time to be alive. Here's how to make a completely hidden base beneath your bed. Dig a hole beneath where your bed will go, add some trap doors up top, and two minecarts placed like this on top of some ladders. Then add two beds on top and surround them with more trap doors. Trust me, nobody's gonna find this. And if they do, ask them why they're sleeping around your bed. You can also just use a stair below the bed, but that's way easier to see. Now obviously the best way to hide a base is to simply just put it behind a wall, but breaking and replacing the wall every time is so annoying. But luckily there's a solution. If you create a stone generator that replaces the block that you break, all you'll have to do is break the blocks each time, and they'll magically cover up the entrance every time. I guarantee every one of us has tried to build one of these tree houses in the jungle, but let's face it, they look terrible. Instead, head to a tiger and try this out instead. You can build it in two minutes for super cheap, and it keeps you safe from all the mobs. Ah! Except phantoms! The cold biomes offer a bunch more cool houses too, including this ice spike base I built when I was just a lad. It's even simpler than the last one. Just clear out some ice, chuck a door on, and now you can pretend you're Superman! The powder snow you can find in these biomes makes for an awesome hidden entrance too. Not only can you hide some in the ground like the scaffold entrance, you can create a hidden ladder up a cliff with it that you can only climb with leather boots. We can take another of Etho's ideas and use a lava curtain to make a hidden entrance. He uses ender pearls, but come on, it's a man cave! Be a man! Ow, ow, it's so hot, ow! Instead, try placing a minecart behind the lava instead. It will stay hidden and allow you to hop through easily. And it's not so damn painful! With all the carpet traps out there, most people are terrified to even step foot on them, which makes them perfect for the most illegal hidden entrance yet. You can jump on turtle eggs through carpets, and it will break the carpet as well as the egg, sending you straight down to anything you build below. Sea turtles are endangered in real life, by the way, making this one actually illegal. If you place perfectly white maps on sea lanterns or glowstone, you can make a super trippy infinite room. Most people use this to troll their friends, but honestly, I think it makes a super cool house. Just try not to get a headache smacking into the walls. You can use a similar trick to make custom wallpaper for your house. Depending on your dedication, you can make custom blocks, simple patterns, or super ornate drawings rivaled only by glazed terracotta, whatever that's supposed to be. Using a hoe or a shovel on dirt will send a pulse to a hidden observer, letting you create wild hidden bases like the one Mr. Insane made in his world. This does seem like a lot of effort for a single player world though. What are you hiding it from? Hero Brian? Something slightly more practical is this instant base idea that uses nothing but saplings. At the start of your world, put some oak saplings down where you want the walls. Once you're back from mining or looking for food, your house will have literally built itself. Walking over or punching redstone or activates observers, meaning you can create hidden cave bases really easily, or even hide some under a carpet or snow for a hidden entrance that'll probably just end up getting activated by a chicken or something. For something a little more secure, try hiding a hopper beneath a block and having a special item filter that only opens with a block named a certain way. Hoppers work under snow, slabs, soul sand, or even path blocks, but you can take it one step further by using a hopper minecart instead, as it'll pick up items through literally any block in the game. Hoppers can take items through path blocks because they're just a little smaller than a full block. We can take advantage of this in another way by hiding a lever under a tree next to some dirt, and using a shovel or hoe to reveal it. But what if instead of illegal bases, you want to know exactly how to protect your base as well as possible? Well, firstly, everyone loves a good explosion, so here's a way to make a totally invisible and instant landmine. Just place a bunch of TNT minecarts on some powered rails like this, and took them up to a skulk sensor right next to them. Sneak away and you've got the best hidden way to protect your house. Isn't it so great? Ah! My house! But if you want a slightly less destructive method of protection, it's time to hire some soldiers. Bees will actually stay aggravated permanently, meaning if you trap a bunch below the floor in your base and rig them up to release when any intruders enter, they'll swarm them instantly and even chase them down for miles. Let's be honest though, you don't want anyone in your base at all. So it's time to up the security with just a couple chains and walls, you can create a cool looking fence. But add some magma blocks covered in moss below, and it will actually turn into an electric
electrified laser fence. It works too. If you're standing on the magma, you can't actually break the chain before you die. And if you're super rich, try building this design with iron bars, cobwebs, and magic potion dispensers below the ground. If you rig this tripwire up to shoot damage potions, it'll really send a message to robbers. And it's a cool piece of decoration too. A great way to protect your base from both mobs and players is to hide puffer fish underground around your base. Moss carpets are a super easy way to sneak them into your decoration, and water logging even allows you to hide them in bushes and trees. Ow! Oh god, I'm getting flashbacks! If you're feeling really mean though, the best way to deal with thieves isn't to kill them, but trap them permanently. Using a simple piston trap, you can force a player into a bubble elevator like this, surrounded in obsidian. Due to the bubbles pushing them around, it'll be almost impossible to mine it even with a pickaxe. If you build a corner like this and row a boat into it, when you leave the boat, you'll teleport onto the other side of the wall. You can use this to create a secret entrance inside your base, or in a mountain or something. It'll work either way. Remember that hidden entrance using scaffolding and snow layers? Well, you can do something similar, but way more dangerous with slime blocks. If you build a setup like this and hide a single slime block below one of the snow layers, this means that all of these blocks will kill you when jumping on them. But if you know the right block, you'll bounce straight up into your base. Did you know that campfires won't actually ignite TNT? Now, given my track record, it might be hard to believe me, but trust me, you can build your entire floor out of TNT, place campfires underneath, and get this super sketchy looking effect that's sure to give any of your friends a scare. By the same token, campfires don't set wood or leaves on fire, meaning you can build a super cool treehouse like this and hide campfires all around, making it look like the place is burning down. You could even strip a few logs and hide some mangrove roots in for extra detail. But for a build hack you can use, try building this hammock. Hook it up using fence gates on the side, then attach some stairs, trap doors to place the bed on, and some signs to complete the shape. You could even change the bed color to match the wood type for peak color coordinated comfort. Let's be honest though, one of the best ways to protect your base is to just hide it really well. So next time you're feeling too lazy to set up tons of traps on your turf, try heading to a snowy biome and hiding it like this. Pick a random snow-covered block and place a few scaffolding below it. Then dig two holes either side, add a bubble elevator in one, and now you have an invisible base that you can even crouch around in to hide your name tag. That's if you can remember where you put it, which, let's be honest, I can't. Mobs have got way better at pathfinding compared to how they used to be, but they still have some issues. For some reason, they still don't see carpets as blocks. So if you fill a pit like this with them, you're totally protected from mobs. Two tall flowers like sunflowers and roses work for this too. If you're like me and can never remember where you put your secret entrances, try this out. Shulker boxes are a great way to sort your items, but if I jump on top of this one and open it, suddenly I'm in my second secret base. For some reason, you can fall through shulker boxes if there's a block above your head, allowing for a perfect entrance that you can even color code and use as storage. Everyone knows zombies love turtle eggs, or hate them, I guess, but you can actually use this to protect your base. With just a single turtle egg and a trap door, you can create this super simple zombie trap that will kill every zombie nearby for you for almost no cost. Unfortunately, snowmen don't do damage to mobs with their attacks, but they will push them back and get their attention. If you spread a bunch of them out in tall towers around your base, they'll totally stop any mobs from attacking you and keep you safe. And if it's players you're worried about, try swapping a snowman out for a skeleton and adding fire around it to create a truly spicy surprise for any intruders. I think the most underrated item in 1.20 is the calibrated skulk sensor. When you place an amethyst block next to it, it'll relay any signal it gets to any other nearby sensors. Using this, you can create essentially infinite wireless redstone that's only activated by certain noises in certain places. So if I eat this piece of food here, the sensors will relay the signal along and teleport me using this enderpearl status machine. This will make your base literally impossible to find. You should know that if you're playing on hard mode, a door probably isn't enough to keep you safe from zombies. So instead, try placing two end rods like this as a door instead. You can slide through perfectly, but mobs have a really hard time. And if end rods aren't your style, this works with bamboo, different kinds of fences, and even lightning rods. But I'll be careful using these in bad weather. Ah! These do have a slight drawback though, is if you manage to anger enough mobs, it can push each other through. So for an entrance that's almost foolproof, add a line of cobblestone walls with some carpets on top. Not even spiders can get past. Now think about it, if you can remove all the mobs in your world, there's no need to protect your base. But how on earth do you do that? Well, as usual, the mango has a solution. If you create this super simple warden farm, you can use note blocks to lure dozens of wardens into this prison with a vine inside. Eventually, so many wardens will spawn that it prevents any mob from spawning anywhere in the entire world. However, this is terrifying, and there's a much easier way to get basically the same effect. Simply grab a boat and spend some time looking for a mushroom island. Other than the deep dark, which has other problems, this is the only place mobs won't spawn naturally. And it's the perfect backdrop to build an awesome fantasy base. They can be quite hard to find, but you can always use a seed map if you're feeling devious. Banners can be used to add illegal levels of detail in builds. But they're not just for marking maps or making a crappy coat of arms. Take Nick's J-Man's incredible train build he made using banners to perfectly match the real-life version. 
decision. If people are literally making real trains now, what's your excuse? This room is full of impossible floating lanterns. Now, lanterns have to be placed hanging off something, and carpets have to be placed on top of something. So how does this work? Well, if you place a carpet above some water and then waterlog the lantern from below, you can remove the water and create this really strange looking lamp. Want a truly unique, impossible decoration for your base? Well, how about literally adding a portal to another dimension? If you build an end portal with the frames facing in these specific directions, the portal will generate in completely the wrong place. Then you can hide the portal frames and keep this super strange decoration wherever you want in your house. If you want to do this in survival though, try growing a mushroom in this specific location. It completely breaks the end portal frames. You'll have to build your base in the stronghold's location. First, you won't have any frames to hide. Decoys are the number one best way to help hide your base. And you can even cover them with traps. Try building this water drop chute somewhere obvious. Let's add a trip wire halfway down. As soon as it triggers, this piston pushes a block over, leaving the thief in a very unfortunate situation. Another way to create a great decoy is with paintings. If you cover a wall with all sorts of paintings, an intruder is always going to try and just walk on through. However, if you build this setup, you can totally trick them. That's a real entrance requires throwing an item in here and being squished through this trap door. It's quite sophisticated, just like my art collection. Mm, yes. Mm. All these methods are quite expensive, though. If you want the cheapest possible way to protect your base, try literally just placing boats all the way around it. When it turns nighttime, any mobs that try to attack will get stuck in them and serve as a defense against players. Another super cheap method of defense is to just wire up a super annoying noise to start playing as soon as someone enters. When this door is opened, an observer gets pushed over here and triggers all these blocks over and over, creating a circuit that will drive a thief crazy and even work as a perfect alarm system. But sometimes players aren't just trying to steal your loot, they're out for blood. So an alarm system just won't cut it. To truly fortify your base, try building your base using stairs placed like this. If you fill them with water, it won't spill everywhere. And it makes your entire base completely resistant to TNT, stopping raiders and creepers in their tracks. And if you want to take this to the next level, try placing a line of observers below the outside blocks hooked up to TNT. These will trigger as soon as the stairs are broken, blowing the raiders up instantly while your base sits there totally unharmed. Remember back in the old days of the game when the best traps just involved placing gravel above signs? Well, these got 1,000 times better with scaffolding. Now, instead of spending ages placing signs perfectly, you can just place a layer of scaffolding hooked up to a piston, stick some carpets above it, and as soon as it's triggered, it'll plunge any players and their loot directly into this pit of lava. The most difficult part of creating a secret base is trying to hide the entrance. So try this idea out. Build a regular wheat or potato farm above wherever you want your base to be. Then break a block behind the crop like this and hide a button in there. Not only is this almost impossible to see, but nobody will ever suspect this lovely little farm being the place you hide all your valuable gear. If you want something even less suspicious, try breaking a hole beneath a lava pool and placing some water like this and building your base down here. Lava pools are totally natural and nobody ever touches them on a server, making them the perfect place to slip into, even if it is a little painful. The only other place in the entire game that mobs can't spawn is actually an ocean temple? It's true. The game is coded so that only guardians can spawn in them, meaning that if you remove all the water, absolutely no mobs will spawn nearby. You're gonna need a lot of sponges or a massive machine, but at the end, you're left with a pre-built mob-free paradise. But if you'd rather not do all that work, there are ways to completely mob-proof your base easily. Not only do slabs basically double the amount of blocks you have for floors and roofs, but mobs can't spawn on bottom slabs, meaning even if your house is pitch black, nothing will be able to spawn inside. You could even add soul sand below and use soul speed to run around your house super quickly. Minecart rails also have the same effect, and you can make cool patterns out of them, but they have a second effect I think is even more interesting. For some reason, mobs see rails as completely impassable objects and won't ever walk over them. So if you surround your base with a railway, it'll be completely safe from the horrors of the outside world, and you get a fun little roller coaster too. Even though zombies can knock down doors with these, for some reason they're completely stopped by trap doors. And given we can easily hop on all fours and crawl beneath, this simple setup works perfectly as a door that zombies have absolutely no hope of breaking down. Eating a chorus fruit will teleport you to a random nearby block, even if that block is maybe on the other side of a wall. So if you head underground and build a tunnel like this, making sure to place carpets on the ground, you can build a base on the other side of the wall that can be instantly entered by simply eating a chorus fruit. However, I think the best possible secret entrance is one that I've never seen anybody use. Simply dying can teleport you tens of thousands of blocks away depending on where you set your spawn. So you can make an underground obsidian bunker far away from anything else, store your items in an ender chest, and instantly teleport there. Then you can build a machine like this to obstruct your spawn point for 60 seconds and instantly respawn at 0, zero again. But the most powerful defense method of all that allows you to be completely and utterly safe from all mobs in the game is to just simply put it to peaceful mode. Absolutely nothing could... Huh? What's that? Oh no, it can't be. Ah! Oh god, subscribe!